I see something in the background. What's going on, Matt? What background? Oh, the doors. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, if you come around this way, you will notice there's a couple of holes here. Let's zoom in on that. Which we didn't see when we bought the car because it was nighttime. So we picked up these two doors here, which are virtually rust free, but they're completely gutted. So we're going to have to gut our current doors and swap everything onto these doors. And then we should have some rust free doors. So we're taking this uh, interior door panel off. And uh, first thing we got to do is take this window crank off of here. So we don't have a special tool for that, which they do make, but I have this, uh, what I call the pokey hooky thing. Uh, what I can do with this is get right underneath it. And then I can just pull up on the clip. Just like that. And then the crank will pull right off. Now putting it on is 10 times easier. I got a trick for you guys. A lot of people don't know this. But if you slip the clip on here. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, this isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. You don't worry, man. I can, cap I can cut this out. I hope you do. This is embarrassing. I'm just telling people how easy it is. I think he even said 10 times easier. Okay, 10 times easier. So you slip it on here, and all you gotta do, pop it on, just like that. What a lot of people will try to do is put it on there and then put the clip in while it's on there. And that is super hard to do. I would not recommend ever doing that. So do it this way. Pro tip. All right, what's our predicament now? All right, well, this is uh, the door handle that we took off of the existing door. And uh, if you remember from a previous video, it was actually seized pretty bad. So it, as you can see, it sticks open. And now we can see why, now that we can get inside it, it's nice and rusty right here. So we're gonna try cleaning that up. We'll probably take a wire brush to it and maybe get some WD-40 on there and just uh, try and loosen it up as best we can uh, just to get it working the way it's supposed to. And then install it in the new door. Oh yeah. Alright, so I think I got her done now. Uh, used some WD-40 as a lubricant and it also uh, helped uh, remove some of the rust around there. Uh, so this handle's loosened right up now. Got no binding at all, so uh, it's good as new. All right, let's do this. I'm curious about the lock. Uh, yeah, grab the key. Uh, I don't know if I went the best way.
door handle. Working a lot better now, Matt. Perfect. Quick recap. We have the old door handle in the new door. We have all the levers hooked up for door handle and lock. Mirrors on. Mirrors on. This little armrest and um, door card attachment mount is secured. And next step, I think, is and the last step is the window. I'm not looking forward to that. This is going to be the worst part. I don't care about what they say. Old bumper out. We're not going to need that anymore. Chuck it. <laughs> I'll store that nice and safe way in case you need it for the future. Alright. You should just slide out because they're not bolted into the factory. Yeah, that one's bolted in. It's still causing you grief, eh? Yeah, that one. I and that one is also plugged in. So that is the end of the doors and front removal video. As you can see, it's no longer winter. But we decided that now that we're doing all this boring body work, we didn't really want to put all that footage together so instead of it being another like month before a video comes mm -hmm. out we decided we'd just throw you that video of the doors and the front bumper and front lights coming off and yeah yeah so currently we're doing a ton of boring body work we realize no one really wants to see that so next video coming out will probably be in a little while and it's gonna be us basically doing some of the body work and the big thing will be the body kit going on so if you follow us on Instagram you'll know what kind of body kit we got we actually posted it a long time ago um, we might post another teaser coming up soon but uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what kind of kit we got yeah it's it's beautiful it's one of my favorite things about this car it's so good. It's it is. exactly what we wanted from the start, yeah. and we found the exact kit that we wanted. It, it, it suits it perfectly. Yeah, we'll go into more details on the body kit video, which should be the next video. But for now, we're going to leave you with that, and we will have other videos coming out about other things that we're doing. Oh yeah, we got tons of stuff to do on Frankenstein. Hopefully we can get a Sylvia update in here somewhere. Tim doesn't want to talk about the Sylvia. Yeah. We'll talk about something else. Uh, and then we've got meets going on. Oh Our yeah. We're, I went to a pretty sweet meet the other day. Yeah. So that one will be coming out in a little bit too. Mm -hmm. What else do we got? Just autocross and, and lapping days. Um, there'll be some videos about the boring daily driver uh, Acura TL. And maybe some other cars coming up. But yeah, for now, that's all in the Furious Civic for 
Another little while? For a little while. Yeah, we just don't want to show all the boring stuff. So we're just gonna... puttying, grinding, sanding. Nothing exciting. But progress is being made, and a lot of progress, and it's really exciting. I'm excited. You better be excited. I'm excited. You better be excited too. Empty Garage I-5.